Hello everyone and welcome to Eagles in the Hour. Well, it's almost time for us to take on the Giants. Both teams are coming off a win. The Eagles are 2-2. Two and two. Well, the reason we wanted to do this show was to increase and improve the game day experience for Eagles fans for a start. So this show is broadcast on the big screen at the game before the game and also throughout the function rooms at the, at the ground. So hopefully we can bring people the latest information as it happens. We can hear from hopefully one of the coaches really close to the bounce down and hopefully that'll just improve the overall game day experience for Eagles fans. So Simo, you've just spoken to the boys. What's the final message to the team? Oh, we want to uh, get on the front foot early. So to offer something current and to give them an up-to-date feed of why they chose a substitute or why there was a late change, I think, uh, is a great advantage and something that not many media outlets have the opportunity to do. I'd be shocked if a player has watched any part of our vision over the years. I don't think they know who we are, to be honest. I watched it last week. Um, production quality, great. Content, great. But the blokes running it, uh, Roberts and Bandy, I think their last names are, it's questionable whether they actually work at the club. I, I actually don't know where they've come from. They're running around asking blokes for questions. They're asking the coach to say so. It's great content, but I'm not sure they know what they're doing, really. Well, it's not about us. That's the thing. We don't want it to be about us. It's about making the game day experience better for Eagles fans, and hopefully this show can do it. So we've got a couple of uh, high-grade amateur players. One who broke down with chronic hamstrings in his Colts career, trying to uh, do a game preview show. Hmm. I guess the viewers might want to join in and uh, have a little bit of a laugh, but I'm not sure it'll go too well. <laughs> oh, look, it's great to be involved with the West Coast Eagles and with this show. Uh, you know, this, this show is so, uh, you know, up to date and ready. It's within the hour before the bounce, and it's a fantastic opportunity. Do you even read the script when you come in? Because I reckon sometimes when we film it, it feels like you're reading this for the first time and really battling. Sometimes you do get a little bit tongue-tied on set, there's no denying that. So that was Brady Rawlings' thoughts, Stephen. Now, <laughs> I don't know how the students put up with us, to be honest. We're probably not the most professional duo you've ever seen. Yeah, well, we probably break all the rules that Jo sets out for these students and all the things that she's trying to teach them. We probably do the complete opposite, so we're probably not the right role models for these students. We've got quite a few people working in football clubs. In fact, we've got graduates working in five AFL clubs in four different states. Yeah, and I love my footy, love my sport, so hopefully that's where I end up down the track in sports broadcasting. You know, it's, uh, it's good to you know, be able to bring this content to fans. It's good to work with the players and to just deconstruct footy, I guess. Uh, you know, it's pretty handy. Yeah, and hopefully everyone really enjoys it. Um, we enjoy doing it. It's really great that we can be involved with this new broadcasting at Mount Lawley. The footy isn't too far away, so sit back and enjoy and go the Eagles. All right, mate. All done. Not too bad. How you reckon you went? Better than you. Interesting. I reckon the car park attendant's got a free week next week. I'm asking to sub in. Regulation. You, you, can, have a, again, you, mate. you can have a spell, mate. 